Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm talking about what can we learn from situations like the port shutdown, the strike at the port. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, just uh, leaving the house, had to drop off the goods that um, we ended up getting from Sam's Club. And uh, I'll tell you, man, a lot of people are completely unaware of what's going on. Some people don't have any kind of comprehension of what a necessity item is, okay? You know, COVID taught me a lot as a man, and I'm, I'm somebody that you're only gonna have to show me something once and it the sting once for me to catch on. You know, so I remember during COVID, man, we were, going to the grocery store knowing this stuff was coming on and we was looking for toilet paper and we couldn't find it. There was none on base, none at the local Walmart. So we turned on the news to find out there was a toilet paper shortage, not only uh, across the United States, but uh, especially where we live in El Paso. And I remember getting on Google, writing down every CVS, every uh, you know, Walgreens, every grocery store. And we drove around literally for a day getting toilet paper. Some places we was able to get four or five rolls and they had lines. Some places we was able to get a pack. The prices shot through the roof. So what that taught me is I wasn't prepared back then. And nowadays, I want you to realize every year there's been something like this that has occurred since COVID. You got some people that rather than go stock up on toilet paper, you know, uh, rice, beans, flour, stuff like that, that is necessity, medical supplies, man, they in the mall uh, blowing, blowing a bag on name brand clothes, on Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Jordans, new Nikes. And I, here's the thing I want you to realize. When you get that knock on the door, when things have gotten bad, and you get that knock on the door and say, man, it, it, it smells good in there. What y'all what, 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 what y'all in there eating, man? I ain't eating days and I ain't smelled nothing like that. You get that knock on the door from family. I'm here today to tell you that, you know, I got a list of people, you know, people that see the writing on the signs, fear the most high y'all keep the commandments. I got uh, one biological brother in his family and I got a brother local where I am. That's about it that's coming in when it hits the fan. Why, okay? You look at these times like this. You got people planning a vacation. You know, leisure and pleasure is more important than making sure they got uh, something to wipe their butt with and, and, and food. You know, I was in Sam's Club and it blows my mind. People are talking about, you heard the port shutting down. Man, I, I already had a good surplus of toilet paper, a good surplus. COVID taught me a lesson. In my house, we prioritize wiping that hind part. So I already had a good surplus. So I just beefed it up a little bit more. You know, you can never be too prepared. You know, people will laugh when you over prepare for a test, but they're not laughing when they fail and you pass. You know, people was in Sam's Club. Oh man, you heard the port shutting down. 
I look at the stuff on people's cart and I'm like, man, people don't have no idea what necessity is. I looked at the rice. I looked at the beans. I looked at the stuff that has a, a, a long shelf life. People weren't grabbing that. People was grabbing the hot pockets, the this, the that. I'm like, man, no, no, heck no. Because when you pay this money for these perishable goods and you think this stuff is the last, you got, you got a, a cart full of sodas, you know, and beverages, man, boy, your stomach gonna be doing knots because you're gonna be hungry. You know, when tax returns come around, I'm not somebody that wants to go, you know, I used to have that mindset when I was in my early 20s, 22, 21, 23, Oh man, let me buy some rims for this car. And I, that's the last thing on my mind. Tax return, man, I'm trying to buy, uh, you know, stuff to make sure we are ready. Five gallon buckets to put the beans in, to put the rice in, uh, those little uh, food safe pouches that remove moisture from the food, buying stuff like that, buying building material, you know, uh, charcoal, you know, Crisco, People don't even know you can take a thing of Crisco and make a candle out of it. And that one big big thing of Crisco will burn for like a week. People don't know that. You know, that's the last thing on my mind. And, and my kids, you know, I'm telling them, hey, hey, that, that ain't, Pop-Tarts ain't no doggone necessity. You know, that's a luxury item. And I tell you, man, that, you know, some of these people will be calling you up because they choose to willfully be ignorant and not prepare. They're gonna be calling you, hey, hey, a long time ago, I just wanted to see if I ain't heard from y'all doing all right. And my answer is, yeah, we making it. We making it. I ain't been telling nobody that we stocked up. People will bum rush your house and stuff get too crazy. Yeah, we making it. Man, I just wanted to see if we could, if I could just hold about, 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 about 500 you know, till next month, you know, you know, toilet paper, everything is shot up and shot up on this. And here you are, uh, you know, asking for money and still got tags on your clothes. They so doggone new. I'm telling you, I did a video on right now is not the time. You got to think if you got a choice between going to five guys, taking your family to five guys and uh, paying almost $800 for a family to eat at five guys, versus going to get you some ground beef at the stove, bulk, and buying all the supplies, you might want to take that option to doggone, uh, you know, have more more meat. Because here's the thing, you got to think, man, with $60, I could buy so much ground beef and we can have multiple meals off of it. I can make smash burgers at the house. Some people don't have that mindset. And you got to think, I don't want to be the first one if it push come to shove, where you got to go down to the food bank and stand in line. I don't want to be the first one, but I recognized the signs a long time ago when I lived in El Paso, I was stationed in El Paso. I was living in these houses where uh, the neighborhood, you really didn't have no yard. You know, we thought we hadn't had the American dream until I realized, man, I couldn't produce nothing on my own. You know, the stuff that I can't uh, produce at mass at large right now, Okay, I can go get it from the store in bulk. I didn't have no storage when COVID hit. We didn't have, we had one little tiny mini deep freezer and that wasn't enough. You got some people still got the refrigerator with the big bottom and the top in the freezer portion and that's all they got. Tax return after tax return. Heathen holiday after heathen holiday, you know, and it never, it never comes to think to say, I need to have something extra. So when you when you start storing up and you got deep freeze, now we got multiple deep freezers, we just replenish as we go. You know, the stuff that's older gets ate first and then we constantly bring in this stuff, uh, bringing in new stuff to stay afloat. But, you know, I remember what it's like uh, going around and everybody, everybody's tracking the local Walmart to figure out when some meat's coming in and when this is coming in and you get there and they only you only can get uh, two packs of meat per household. Like this stuff is crazy. I said, man, I ain't finna be in that situation no more. Forget this. 
And I'll, in, in today's video, man, I want to ask you, like, what are you learning from these situations? Are you prepared enough? You might be, but there's a high probability you might not be. Do you know what a necessity is? You know, you got some women out there that they probably just uh, bought everything in their Amazon shopping cart. Eyelashes, makeup, you know, uh, you know, all kind of bath and body work, Victoria's Secret, and you're wondering when the struggle comes, why it just hits you so hard. You got a brother out there probably in the mall, you know, in Atlanta buying six, $700 worth of Jordan. You think you're the man and you're gonna learn the hard way. The struggle will hit you. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.